Hey learners, what is up? Let's learn something today from Master J. For today's video, we are going to discuss problem solving involving two sets. Bago tayo magtungo sa mga word problems involving sets, alamin muna natin ang definition ng Venn diagram. So basically, a Venn diagram is a pictorial representation of the relationship between sets. Ganito ang itsura ng Venn diagram natin sa sets. The rectangle represents the universal set while the two circles represent the two given sets which is in this case set A and set B. Kailangan din natin tandaan that elements of the two given sets are written inside the circle. In some cases, may mga elements na nakasulat outside the circles. Yung mga elements na to, they are written outside because they are not part of the two given sets. Let's have this Venn diagram. Let us interpret kung ano yung nire-represent ng bawat bahagi o portion ng isang Venn diagram sa sets. For this part, this is where you can find the elements in set A but not in set B. Sa kabilang portion naman, we have elements in set B but not in set A. And for the middle part of our Venn diagram, this is where we put the elements that are common to both sets. In short, Ito yung ating intersection. Intersection means we get the same elements from both sets. Let's have this basic example. As you can see, meron tayong set A and set B with the following elements. If we represent this one using a Venn diagram, kailangan nyo mulang tandaan na we always start with the intersection or yung middle part ng Venn diagram natin kung saan makikita yung mga elements na pareho sa both sets. In this example, as you can see, yung mga elements na pareho kay set A and set B are 10, 20, and 30. Therefore, ilalagay natin sila sa middle part ng ating Venn diagram. So we write 10, 20, and 30. For this remaining part of set A naman, isasula natin yung mga natitirang elements ni set A. We have 5, 15, 25, and 35. Likewise, sa kabila, isasula natin yung remaining elements ni set B. So we write 40 as well as 50. Tignan natin yung second example na to. We have set A and set B with the following elements. Gaya lang sabi ko, sa pagre-represent sa Venn diagram, we always start with the intersection or the same elements. Based sa example natin, we obviously see that the same elements from both sets are red and blue. Therefore, isusulat natin sila sa middle portion ng ating Venn diagram. So we have red and blue. For this part, we write the remaining elements of set A so we have yellow, black, and green. And sa kabila, same process lang, we write the remaining elements of set B, which are pink, violet, and orange. For the next example, let us interpret the Venn diagram by answering some questions. As you can see, our Venn diagram is about summer activities of certain people. We have two sets represented by two circles, namely hiking and swimming. Now, if we answer this question, how many prefer hiking only? Based on our Venn diagram, our answer would be 9 people. Yung part na to, this is where we find those people na hiking lang ang gusto, walang halong swimming. Likewise, if we answer the question how many prefer swimming only, ang sagot natin ay 13 people. Next, how many do not like boat hiking and swimming? 
So ito yung mga ayaw ng hiking at swimming. In short, hindi sila part ng dalawang sets natin. Therefore, based on our Venn diagram, ang sagot natin ay 3 people. How about this one? How many like both hiking and swimming? Obviously, this is our intersection. That is why our answer would be 5 people. Next, how many prefer hiking? Sa question na to, hindi lang yung mga may gusto ng hiking lang ang bibilangin natin. Sasama din natin dito yung mga may gusto ng hiking at the same time, gusto rin ng swimming. Hindi tulad dun sa naunang tanong natin, hiking lang or hiking only ang hinahanap natin. Dito, kung gusto niya ng hiking tapos gusto rin niya ng swimming, kasama pa rin siya sa bilang. So to answer this question, meron tayong 14 people na gusto ang hiking. I-add natin yung bilang na nasa loob ng circle ng hiking. So we have 9 plus 5. So the answer will be 14. Similarly, if we answer the question how many prefer swimming, the answer will be 18. Because 5 plus 3 is equal to 18. Lastly, how many people were interviewed all in all? In short, hinahanap natin yung kabuoang bilang or yung tinatawag nating universal set. To do this, we simply add all the numbers inside the rectangle. Kasi yun yung universal set natin. So we have 9 plus 5 plus 13 plus 3. The answer will be 30 people. Now, let's have this word problem. A group of 35 grade 7 students were asked whether they use either Facebook or Twitter or both. 15 of these students use Facebook, 12 use Twitter, and 2 use both sites. How many use Facebook only? How many use Twitter only? And how many do not use both sites? Sa pagsagot sa kahit anong word problem, we start by writing the given. So sa problem na to, our universal set or yung kabuoong bilang natin ay 35. So we write U for universal set. Next, 15 yung gumagamit ng Facebook, 12 naman ang gumagamit ng Twitter, and dalawa ang gumagamit pareho ng Facebook and Twitter. In short, yung dalawa na to, sila yung ating intersection. To answer this problem, we need to use a Venn diagram. Importante may pangalan o label ang ating mga circles or sets para hindi tayo malito sa paglagay ng number of elements. Tulad ng sinabi ko, magsisimula lagi tayo sa intersection or middle portion ng ating Venn diagram. Based sa mga given, obviously, ang ating intersection or elements coming from both sets ay 2. Ito yung parehong gumagamit ng Facebook at Twitter. So we write 2 here. Then, 15 daw yung gumagamit ng Facebook. Since meron na tayong 2 sa circle ng Facebook, we only need 13 para makompleto yung 15. That's why we write 13 here. 13 plus 2 is 15. Then for Twitter naman, there are 12 students. Since we already have 2 inside the circle of Twitter, we write 10 para makompleto yung 12. After we write the elements inside the circles, kailangan nating i-check if there are elements na hindi kabilang sa dalawang sets. Ito yung mga elements na makikita outside the given circles. Para gawin ito, i-add lang natin ang mga number of elements sa Venn diagram. 13 plus 2 plus 10 is equal to 25. Since ang universal set natin o kabuoang bilang ay 35, kulang pa tayo ng 10 sa ating illustration. Therefore, we write 10 outside the Venn diagram. 13 plus 2 plus 10 plus 10 is equal to our universal set which is 35. Now let us answer the following questions. How many use Facebook only? The answer would be 13. How many use Twitter only? 
that is correct. Ang sagot ay 10. How many do not use both sides? You are right again. The answer is 10. For our next problem, let's have this one. A sponsor in a feeding program for grade 7 students noticed that among 50 students, 32 students like to eat spaghetti and 26 students like to eat pancit. Now, how many like to eat pancit only? How many like to eat spaghetti only? And how many like to eat both food? Gaya ng sabi ko, we always start by writing the given. So we have 50 as our universal set, 32 for spaghetti, and 26 for pancit. Ang kaibahan ng problem na to, hindi agad nakabigay yung intersection ng dalawang sets, unlike sa naunang example. And to solve this problem, we always start with the intersection or the middle part of the Venn diagram. So paano natin to gagawin? If you encounter a problem like this, ang unang gagawin, we add the number of elements from two sets. So 32 plus 26, the answer is 58. Kung mapapansin nyo, yung 58 na nakuha natin is lumampas na sa ating universal set o kabuoang bilang which is 50 lang. Kung isasubtract natin yung dalawa, 58 minus 50, meron tayong excess o sobra na 8. Ano ang ibig sabihin nito? Yung 8 na to, sila yung kumakain pareho ng spaghetti at pansit. In short, these 8 students represent our intersection. So for this problem, we write 8 sa middle portion ng ating Venn diagram. Then, since we have 32 students for spaghetti and we already have 8 students sa circle ng spaghetti, we write 24 to complete 32 students. 24 plus 8 is 32. Likewise, 26 minus 8, we have 18 for this part naman ng Venn diagram natin. 18 plus 8, we have 26 for pancit. To check if we have elements outside the Venn diagram, we add 24, 8, and 18. So 24 plus 8 plus 18, the total is 50. Since tugma yung total sa bilang ng universal set, wala tayong isusulat outside the Venn diagram. Now, let us answer the following questions. How many like to eat pancit only? That's right. There are 18 students. How many like to eat spaghetti only? Very good. The answer is 24. For the last one, how many like to eat both food? You are correct. We have 8 students. That's it. Ito yung paraan ng pagsosolve ng word problems involving two sets. Before we end our video, take note of the following. In a Venn diagram, the universal set is represented by a rectangle while sets are represented by circles. In solving two sets using a Venn diagram, Always start with the intersection of the given sets, then going outward. So there you have it class. I hope you learned something from our video and thank you for listening. See you again next time, masters.